my biggest learning experience was from studying my own mistakes. Right. Because uh, I, in 1982, I had an account that was at 30000 I think I had $30,000. And and then you know the market exploded in August of '82, and I had you know had a great move, uh, and I doubled the account. Mm -hmm. Well, it was just I was just part of a huge bull market. It wasn't really all my skill, and I really didn't know what I was doing. And and so I was already at the company for a year, and then then we got into a horrible market where it just growth stopped working nothing was working i started getting chopped up completely and that account went from 16 sorry 60,000 down to $16,000 so i completely i mean that's that's pretty much blowing up i finally sat down one weekend and i went through every single stock i bought for the prior year and found out what i was doing wrong and i just found out that i there was a pattern that just kept on showing up over and over and over again it was i was mm -hmm. buying extended stocks so when i cut that when i stopped doing that i i finally said okay i'm gonna i'm i'm, I'm only gonna buy exactly at the buy point exactly where the stock was coming out into new highs or above the majority of the base right i'm gonna look for the right characteristics and from that point on that's, I mean, I think very shortly after that, I got my first great winner and it was a stock called, uh, it was actually called Wards, which is very similar to Wards Foods, but Wards Incorporated, which was an electronic, electronic retailer, which then changed its name to Circuit City. There you go. Yeah. And, um, and so had a great win out of that. And then, then just, I was so focused. I wasn't buying pullbacks. I wasn't buying extended stocks i was buying exactly right i didn't care what the rest of the market looked like um and so i was buying one setup and one setup only and that's where i just started hitting one after another after another focusing on one specific setup and just trying right. to master that right i mean you, you try to do a number of different things you try to drive you, you try to buy breakouts and pullbacks and all sorts of different things or you start mixing styles, that's where you can get into trouble. You just want to try to simplify the whole thing.